Hello, my name is Rohana. I want to audition for uh, America's Got Talent. Yeah. Actually, America's Next Top Model. Just, I'm so talented, it's okay. I'll audition for so all talented. the American, American stuff. Ow! Oh, great. Anyways. Welcome back to the ITP Live show. Today, we're gonna Can you not move verify your hand? Laura's character if it's fake or real. I bet it's fake. So. Let's start. What? what? Like you're verified? I am not verified. Exactly, right. Because I don't need validation. Today we're talking all about verification because it's been a very hot topic. We're gonna stop it. Verification on which platforms? All platforms. All platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and... Twitter. Twitter. Great, because I have a British accent going on there. Laura, do you know how it all started? The concept of verification from where it started? So what happened was in 2009, the manager of the St. Louis Cardinal basketball, yeah. sorry, baseball, baseball team, apparently tried to sue Twitter or did sue Twitter. Why? Be because there were so many impersonating accounts on the platform. Oh. And so Twitter came up okay. with the idea of verification. Twitter started with ver verification before any other platform. Exactly. And then Facebook and Instagram followed suit and YouTube. Everybody started to become obsessed with the idea of getting verified. Yeah. And last week, YouTube came out and announced that they are changing their entire verification structure. Now, How and why? Any channel that had 100,000 subscribers could get verified. Now they're changing it so the channel has to have still 100,000 subscribers, but also there's other factors oh. that go into it. Authenticity and prominence. How can I, as a YouTuber, say that, hey, that's my account. So the idea- And that's me, and I'm not faking it. Can I talk now? What does it take to be authentic on YouTube, to have an authentic profile on YouTube? This is very interesting that you're saying that because it's the same thing on Instagram where Instagram says you need to be notable if you want to be verified. Now, creators... What is notable? Exactly. That's my problem. Every time we try to go verify someone on any platform, there's a lot of loopholes and there's something that is not clear. That's not the right, correct use of loopholes. There's a lot of... Um, glitches? Because glitches It's very opaque. It's very opaque. What's opaque? It means opposite of translucent. It means the rules are not clear. A question everyone has been asking. How to get verified on Instagram? How to get verified on YouTube? How to get verified anywhere? YouTube says, authenticity, does this channel belong to the real creator, artist, public figure, or company it claims to represent? Basically, if you're uploading videos of a Victoria's Secret model to your YouTube channel, are you actually that Victoria's Secret model or are you just ripping off their content? Ripping off their content. Prominence means, does this channel represent a well-known or highly searched creator, artist, public figure, or company? Or is this channel widely recognized outside of YouTube and have a strong presence online? Is this a popular channel that has some very similar name to many other channels? So... If two people have two channels with the name of Demi Lovato, which one is... Well, Demi Lovato's ch channel would be the, the verified channel. This is what YouTube is trying to crack down on, is all this inconsistency in terms of who is and isn't verified. It can't just be the 100,000 subscriber mark. And this is very similar to Instagram as well. Not anyone can get verified on Instagram, even if they have a lot of followers. So how to get verified on Instagram, Laura, is basically you have to be a public figure. You have to be already covered by media, on TV, magazines, to be verified on, to be eligible. Eligible, yeah, that's correct. To be eligible, to be verified. Not eligible. 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 To be unfresh educated. But going into it, there are so many videos on YouTube and so many articles on the web that will tell you how to get verified on Instagram. And actually the process that they have going for it today in 2019 is pretty straightforward. If you have over 10,000 followers, it's very straightforward to apply yourself for uh, Instagram verification. Basically what you're saying is that influencer can get their verification on their own. I do not believe in that because a lot of influencers we have in ITP Live, or our other platform, Live Unite, they try to get their verification on their own and they fail to do so. And it's not because they don't have enough followers, it's because, as we said, they do not have enough media coverage. And this is where our help as ITP Media Group, we get them the media coverage, the right? Which will make them be eligible. Uh, to <laughs> be verified. By the way, a lot of people ask how much it costs to get verified on Instagram or YouTube or other platforms. 
It's for free. YouTube is opening its verification process again at the end of the month. And same thing with Twitter. Now, apparently yeah. Twitter had stopped verification for the past couple years, except for Why? Because people essentially believe that if they got verified at Twitter, because user, because people on Twitter essentially believed if they got their, you do the same thing. I'm just trying to see what you felt when you did this. I feel so much when I do that. Gaining God powers, God Power God Rangers, God. let's do this. People tend to think that if they are verified on the platform, it's an endorsement, which is not the case. What do you mean with it's an endorsement? That that account is somehow more valuable Val or credible. But that's the same thing with Instagram, no? And all, this is something we want to tackle. And this is why platforms want us to move away from thinking about it. So okay. YouTube, with its new verification process, yeah. it's getting rid of the check mark. It's okay. actually going to have a gray border okay. around the box. So for Instagram, you need 10,000 followers to verify your account. Exactly. For YouTube, you need 100,000 sub uh, subscribers to verify your account. Everything needs to be real and legit. For Twitter, you need to get verified how much? We will find out at the end of the month. What, why are you mimicking me? Well, what would you give up in order to be verified on Instagram? You, I would <laughs> give you up to get verified on any platform. We talked about Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Twitter. What's left? That's it. The big takeaway here though, is that the platforms do not want people to have all the focus on verification. They want you guys to create amazing content and just focus on that. Yeah. Uh, so. Being verified is not any sort of validity. No, it's not. It just, it just means that an account is not fake. But if you're just a random person who's not a celebrity, why do you need it? Anyways, we don't care. I don't know, people are weird nowadays. Like Laura. Great. Subscribe, you guys. Feel Hit the free bell. Share in the comments your opinion on this. What and do you want to know more? Vote Rahana out. Actually, vote her out. Bye.